going on, folks? All right, I'm gonna pick uh, one I got from Locking Paul. This one is Neo Sapien 23. Um, this uh, it's a it's like a quick set. Um, let's see something here. Not sure. Yeah, so it's uh, an AR4 key. I'm not sure what what that goes to, but now this one's that's a wiser. Or at least that's what this key is. But that doesn't make a difference because we don't need the key. Um. Just for a second, I do just to get clamped up in the vise a little easier. One of these days, I'll actually make myself a, a kick holder for in the vise. Alright, now we don't need the key. Alright, well, I'm getting situated here. Uh, we'll go ahead and give you the spiel, like I always do. Go check out Discord. Got giveaway I'm looking at doing. It'll be specifically on Discord. It'll be uh, beginning of March, maybe spring break time. So keep an eye on Discord. Um, Check out Locking Paul. That's who I got the lock from. Awesome guy. Uh, but, yeah, let's go and get to picking. Number three. Let's go and scoot that all the way down. Number two is giving some clicks. Got a good click off of number one. Click off of number five. Number two. That was number three with a counter rotation and a small click. Number four. There we are. That was number four that opened this up. Now, I won't lie, I did have a go at this before the camera was on, but it wasn't to pick it. I looked at the key and I wanted to see, since I'm not a raker, I normally don't touch a lock with a rake, but I wanted to see if I could rake this one. And it's very easily rakeable. Which I was not expecting, but, you know, it happens. I bet if I uh, had some of my first challenge locks, they would, they would probably be rakeable. And... Follower... See, I never understood the flat spots on top of these cylinders. Oh. 50 Q. 
key in there, make sure that all the pins are in and working. And they are. That one's trying to run away. See what we have done to the core. Got a couple of serrations in number one, and that's about it. That is it. All right. Let's move on to the Bible and see what he put up top. Um. All right. The number six is the front. That one is a very lightly serrated. With a copper spring. Standard in number two with a copper spring. Very nice spool. Looks, looks commercial. Yeah, looks like it's a commercial spool in number three. We'll flip this around and go to the back. Yeah, those are gotta be commercial spools. And there's a homemade hourglass, almost, in number four. And I doubt there's anything that's been done up to the top. The strap on top is still in one piece. Yeah, top is untouched. Alright, got a couple of light serrations on the key pin and the driver of one. Uh, standard in two for the driver and key pin. Um, looks like a tapered spool on the key pin of three and a, a commercial spool on the driver. Uh, T pin key pin in four with almost like an hourglass spool for the driver, uh, two wide serrations on the key pin of five and a uh, commercial spool in the driver. And it looks like it's picking that up real good. All right, so there's that. All right, check out uh, Neo Sapien. I haven't seen him do a video, but YouTube may have screwed me up on there and may have unsubscribed me to him. I'm gonna check my subscriptions. But even at that, check out some of his old videos. He does real good videos. Um, 
and this one was from Locking Paul. So go check out Locking Paul also. He's going to be in the description. Um, along with my email and my Discord server. Uh, come join us. Got lots of good folks on there. And the more people we get, the more active it's going to be. And uh, the more help it's going to be to the community. So until next time, keep it legal, folks.